Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Crypto Boost. 2022 has been a remarkable time for cryptocurrencies. While the mainstream relinquishment of cryptos is well underway, there's one action in particular that has the implicit to propel crypto into everyone's Diumo lives, Web3. In today's video, we'll discuss what is Web3 and when will it be launched as mainstream platform. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. The conception of Web3 enthralled investors and the tech industry in 2021. Web3 represents the future of the internet, where users operate in a decentralized manner rather than counting on major commercial enterprises or centralized government associations with a focus on community. That brings us to the question, how soon would it take for Web3 to go mainstream? In an interview with Bloomberg, UK-based Dan Hughes, founder of Web3 startup Radix DLT, and a cryptographer who spent years single-handedly designing his own interpretation of blockchain technology, spoke about the technical challenges of Web3 and said that it could take up to a decade for it to go mainstream. He said one of the biggest challenges that could stop Web3 from going mainstream is that it may be too delicate or risky to use, which may not allow a lot of people to engage with it. The majority of people involved in this space at the moment are quite tech expertise and willing to take on danger. But when you're talking to Bill, the plumber in the local pub, he's not really interested in understanding all of this technical complexity that's presently needed to be able to use this stuff. He does not want to have to worry about the danger of it being stolen or losing his keys, he told Bloomberg during the interview. He added that there were also regulations to consider. However, that might be the final nail in the pall if the regulations go too far. The idea of Web3 was conceived with the arrival of the blockchain technology. Web3 inherits its properties from the very fundamentals of blockchain, i.e. decentralization. In Web3 realm, your data is not stored in a centralized server. Rather, it's stored in your own guardianship. Here's an instance of how this could work. Imagine that you post reels on an Instagram-like platform. Instead of just posting and forgetting about them, all of these reels are NFTs published in your name. Now you could take these reels to some other platform if need be. You could also vend the proprietorship of these reels to some brands. You could also raise cash against these reels to produce further. We're only limited by our imagination. Nethermost line, if you enjoy your data, you can monetize it as you want. You could also partake a part of the profit with the platform for enabling this monetization. This is how Web3 has the eventuality of turning the tables. That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.